Greetings. Greetings. Mm -hmm. Is it the cat? Yes. Hello, the cat. Greetings. Questions. My questions? Yes. Oh, I would like to learn more about you. What are you doing except your job? I have many leadership abilities and jobs. Mm -hmm. I am a counselor for the groups that are assembled. I am a counselor for others that are in counseling positions. Mm -hmm. More of a lead counselor. How do you access them? Do you physically meet with people? Yes, and telepathically meet with them as well. Where physically do you, if it's, um, I don't want to ask you for secret things, but can you tell me? I meet within the ship. Oh, within the ship? In which dimension would that be? This is the fourth dimension, and I meet in the third dimension as well. Do you meet humans other than from colonies? Yes. Wow. Can you share more about that? Yes. I can bring people to me mm -hmm. and meet with them. Those meetings, though, will not be in their memory when they leave. Uh -huh. But the people that I meet with in the colonies, which are few, retain memory of me. Mm -hmm. This has been approved. Wow. Uh, when you meet people which are not aware of you, uh, how do you present yourself? Are you look, do you look scary to them? I am in their dream state. They seem to see me as a dream or an apparition, but yet they are here with me. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So they are not awakened? Not completely. If they would awaken, would they be scared of you? They are sometimes frightened, even in dream states. Uh -huh. But I am only frightening because of what they do not know about me, not because of my appearance necessarily. Do you look like anything we would see in our art? I look like a feline cat. Oh, wow. Similar features. Ah. Facially, not body-wise. Ah. I do not have a tail as per se. More of a knob extension uh -huh. where the tail was once. What's the color of your facial hair? My facial hair is brown. It is dark brown, sable. Uh, how do your eyes look? My eyes are cat-like in some ways but human in others. Uh, would you relate to Avatar people? No. Because they are blue and don't have hair? Correct. Would they be skinnier than you? Yes. Uh -huh. Do you have hair on your hands? Not on the palms. Ah, outside the palms? But yeah. Some hair on the knuckles uh -huh. and back of the wrist. How about the nails? They have nails. Yes, we have nails. Like cat-like? No. Oh. More human nails than cat-like nails. How about teeth? Do you have cat teeth? In the back, there's still some evidences of severe severity and the uh -huh. extension of the molars. Do you have mimics? I don't know that. No, that's Russian word. I would say facial movements of humans. Yes. Can you smile? 
Yes. Wow! Can you sing? I can, but do not. I see. That is a choice. Can you be very loud? I can be very loud. Wow. What about your personal history? Can you share with me what's your history? What makes you excited and proud? In what part of history would you would be interested? Oh, we have only a few moments. Just you know how old you are, from what uh, sort of lineage. I am on my planet, fifty-three. On your planet, I would be sixty-nine. Years. Yes. Are you young? Yes. I didn't realize that. You sound so adult. I am adult. Uh huh. Um, anything about your early history or your parents, your family? Can you share any of that? I am the only child in of my parents. Uh huh. They are still with us. Uh -huh. They are not together at this time. Uh -huh. But they do unite uh -huh. often. How do you grow how did you grow up? I grew up in something that would be considered a home, but also it has cave-like proportions. Did you play with other kids? Of course. What did you play? We played several games, one considerably close to Earth's hide-and-go-seek. Oh, so something physical as well? Yes. Okay. That would be the closest game it was not exactly the same, but very similar. If on your planet you would jump forward, how far can you fly? Undetermined. As far as you wish? I am not permitted to say. Ah, that's fine. Uh, can you, if you meet a hostile human or human bandits, how would you deal with them? They would not see me. Uh huh. If they had technology to see you, how would you deal with them? I would probably stun them. With what? There is something that I have that can do that. It is not a weapon, but it is a way of protecting yourselves. Can it disappear? I can. Uh, technologically or physically or physiologically? Technology wise. So if you are in a human, become an ambassador and come to humans and bad guys want to harm you. I can escape. Uh huh. Can you stop the time? Not at that moment, no. Can you replay? Go back in time and replay it? I'm sorry, I don't want to bother you. No, just... no, no, no. There was interference. Alright. Um, please repeat. Can you go... You, you meet bandits like who want to harm you. Can you go back in time and replay it in a way that you would escape this way? That is not permitted. Oh, that's fine. I do you know. I just kind of try to see, you know, play scenarios in my head. How how advanced you guys are. It is possible, but not permitted. Oh sure. All right. Um, what else I want to know? Uh, tell me about your culture. We are an intellectual culture. Uh huh. Unlike the blues, we do get involved with settlement of property and 
actually fighting for what we believe. The blues are a neutral culture. They do not fight, nor do they become in politically involved with any other species. But we do. Mm -hmm. um, we are intellectual. We do have emotions, but we do not show them much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We find it beneficial to only share our emotions when necessary. Mm -hmm. We find it beneficial as a species, as you would call it, to create linearly. Is that the right word? Yeah, I understand. I understand. We are logical, but yet understand the need for expression. Mm -hmm. Our society lives well. There is a type of currency for certain things only. Privilege is money. Mm -hmm. in our society. I understand. There are some things that recommend, not recommend, I cannot get the word. There are some things that require money, but there are few, and they are only pleasurable things. Uh-huh. Anything else is dealt with in other ways. I use an L for money. L was used three centuries ago. Uh huh. No longer necessary for them to become involved. Why? Because we are stable. So it's like self service without use of L. At this time, we appreciate L, but they do not interact with us in the monetary financial sense. Do you have anyone replacing L? We do not. Computer system? If you would consider that a replacement, mm -hmm. perhaps partially. Are your individuals altruistic or egotistic? Please repeat. Uh, humans are very egotistical. There are very few altruists. If humans were allowed to spend and take from others, they would spend and take from others a lot. We do not do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they are altruistic in many ways. You, you know, if uh, something is in limited quality, then uh, people would voluntarily not take as uh, more than they can. We are stable, and therefore we do not need to take from each other. How do you regulate your number of individuals? At last count, on this world, where I grew up, was born, mm -hmm. there are seven billion. That is a lot. No, actually, we also have seven billion. Yes. That's a lot. So, you know, you're allowed to multiply bigger and it's not a problem, right? You're not limiting the numbers. We also inhabit two moons uh -huh, uh -huh. with another one billion. Do you sleep? Yes, but not for long periods. Uh -huh. Can you fly mentally? It is not permitted to do so at this time. To leave the body is to leave it unguarded. Can you fly your body? No. But technologically you could, right? Yes. Uh -huh. Do you walk on two feet? Yes. Do you wear clothes? Yes. What are your typical clothes? I just usually wear a single piece with straps on the shoulder. 
With her breasts? Yes. Would you think it would look attractive to humans? No. Sexually? No. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. But you never know with humans. <laughs> Uh, vegans, right? You're coming from Vega, the civilization, right? Yes. Many millions or billions? Millions, right? Hundreds of millions years ago? Not that long. How long? Perhaps two million. 2.4. Oh, thank you. That's, that's very handy. I'm trying to figure out the history. And that was all in fourth dimension, or was it originally in third? It was originally third. When did you move to fourth? It was necessary when our planet became a target. Mm -hmm. Of who? I am not permitted to say. It's fine. How long ago, if, it, if you're permitted? 110,000 years ago. Oh, recently. Interesting. Are you, how, how long have you been involved in human history? Not as long as you might think. Perhaps 10,000 years, 10.1 thousand years. Interesting. Are you knowledgeable about ancient human history of that period? Some. The more important faculties of it, you were very primitive. There was not much to record. Were there big uh, catastrophic or climatic events in that last oh. 10,000? Oh, yes. When was that and what was that? There were meteorites that hit your planet. There were volcanic eruptions that destroyed 47% of your planet at one time. What year was it? That was about 9,020. Aha! Uh -huh. BC, of course. Oh, BC, so it's... Before 11,020. 11, yes. Excellent. There were alien invasions. Really? Yes, many. You just had one just recently, but it was very subtle. Tell me more. The reptilians, the Masont reptilians. Masont? Masont reptilians. Okay. Created a negativity ray mm -hmm. of some sort, mm -hmm. which was not detected at first, and it caused many of those people in the ascension to become very tired. It caused much fatigue and brought down the world's productivity by 5%. When was that? That was September 17th. Oh! But we were stopped. You were stopped? We were to stop them. Ah, you stopped it? Yes. We weren't aware of it until the very next day when we noticed the productivity had dropped. Then we evaluated what could have happened and discovered the wave length of the machine. What was the wave length? Pardon me? What number for the wavelength? How big? Oh, it was a wide wave. What number are you seeking? A nanometer, meters, decimeters, length. Oh, it was very long. <laughs> Let's see. Let me look at the instrument. 72 million 340,000 decimeters. Decimeter, thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was size of the solar system or something? It was very large, yes. How many solar systems? It was from another solar system. 
No, the, the wavelength. Okay. From which one? The one uh, Sirius. Oh, wow. Do we have enemies from Sirius? On Sirius? We do not have enemies on Sirius. This was a covert operation that ah. came from one of the uninhabited planets toward yours. But it would travel for a long time. Yeah, Not right. as long as you might think. Who's they have found ways to fold over time and mass. I see. Was it physical wave or four-dimensional? Which dimension was that? It was three-dimensional. Ah, so our instruments might have registered it? No, it was far too high a frequency. Wait a second, if it is so big wavelength, it would be a low frequency. You would think. Oh, it was modulated? Yes. At what frequency was it modulated? Four seven two nine five. Four seven two nine five. Decimeters? Correct. That would be registrable. Okay, that that's fine. Uh well let's Not necessarily. There was other components to it. Okay. So it was electromagnetic. It right? was also masked, so you could not. But it was electromagnetic. Yes. Wow. It caused much damage to productivity of Earth. Five percent is very high. I understand. So the intrusions were probably bigger by aliens in the past. What was their most recent big one? <laughs> They've had several. Uh huh. Let me think of the most recent. You would it would not be in your news. There was Siberian. There were some Siberian mishaps with uh -huh. the old nuclear reactor area because it has still high radiation. It was acceptable for a landing site. However, there are tours that go there sometimes. What was the time? It was 2011. Ah. August 20th. I was born in Sirlovsk, uh, 64, 1964, February 8th. And around that time there was an, uh, uh, possibly an explosion, nuclear explosion. Mm -hmm. What was that? That was another nuclear site that was not supposed to be well known but there was also other components to that tell me more one moment there was alien activity around that plant uh-huh but they did not cause the explosion. Oh. They actually tried to stop it. Was it a real explosion? It was a meltdown. Uh-huh. Was I irradiated? Or in, uh, polluted? Poisoned? You might have had negligible traces of radiation, but as a child you're much more susceptible to changes when radiation hits. Mm -hmm. Your systems are much more acceptable to radiation than when you grow older. I know. What is the Nazca lines? I do not know. Nazca, N-A-S-C-A lines are, you know, when you look from space... Oh, on the Nazca lines. Those are for those who are coming from space to see. They are not for earthlings. Who made them? We are not quite sure. They look very sloppy, look very inaccurate. We like believe that they were made by earthlings mm -hmm. being guided by aliens. Maybe. They look very humanoid, uh, human-made and uh, kind of inaccurate. 
but obviously right. intended for aliens to look to see. Correct. Who is making crop circles around Stonehenge? Many species are making crop circles. Many species. Strange. Why is that? Most to warn, some to intellectualize, and some to deceive. All of that looks very consistent. If there were many species, you would see more variety of crop circles. Is there a kind of a, a guidance for many species to go through the same channel? They are always showing you the crop circles that they wish for you to see. Some people may be able to figure out the ones that they do not show. They show you the ones that are cryptic and not necessarily understandable. But there are more, very, more frightening crop circles than you have seen. Frightening. Yes. What would be the message of frightening ones? Death to humanity. Really? Yes. Who would do that? There are two species that would do that. Uh, would they mean that? They eventually plan to do that. Uh -huh. But they are being stopped by several species. Which ones? Yugil, Pleiadian, Arcturian, Sansani, Viren, many. I see. Sasanya means Sasanya by Bash of Bashar, right? That is what he names his society, yes. Excellent, thank you. So what makes your species proud? Our exploration of many planets. Wow. What is your religion? The one God religion of many. Many gods of one and one god of many. What is the highest deity which you can really communicate to? The highest deity? Yes. Speaking directly to God is impossible. Yes. So who do you speak to directly? We speak to his other personalities. Uh huh. You know one. Which one? Jesus. Oh. Is Jesus popular in your culture? Not the name. But the personality? Yes. The entity? Yes. How popular is he? 92% believe. Is he what his rank in uh, among the saints or personalities like Jesus? Is he the most popular, or there are a few others? He is equal with others. Which ones are others? Mentat. Wow. Tiran. Tiran. Senatura. Senatura. Kala. Wow, excellent. So you can talk to them? Yes. Personally? Not always. But sometimes you can. Do yes. You, do you pray? Yes. I don't want... I, I'm not asking about this example, but how do you pray? In which way do you pray? You meditate and speak to them somehow? We speak to them and sometimes we hear them. Do you praise God in the one in your prayers? Yes. Are they similar to human prayers? In some ways. Can you translate a, a short prayer for me, one of the main ones, to English? I could try. Thank you, that would be very handy.
The sight of Kala brings me hope. The sight of Kala and Ma brings me peace and joy. There are many who love you for what you've done, the grace has poured to us. Messenger of God, we adore thee. Amen. Thank you much. That's beautiful. Thank you very much. It was very beautiful.